I'm brand new to game development, have very little previous knowledge of coding, and have made a ton of fun mechanics in Unreal Engine 5 so far. The best part is that I haven't written a single line of code. Unreal Engine's visual scripting language called Blueprint allows individuals to create game functionality like this dash inspired by Doom, or this double jump, or this meteor spell. In fact, Blueprint is so comprehensive that a guy is making a fully fledged game called Arcadian Rift using nothing but Blueprint. Unfortunately, he was exposed for doing some bad things I'd rather not get into right now, so the game has been canceled, but the point I'm trying to make is that AAA quality is achievable using only Blueprint which leaves people like me and probably people like you in an interesting spot because learning game dev has never been easier than it is right now. But the question still stands, what is it like to learn game development as someone with no prior experience? And why Unreal Engine instead of something simpler like Unity? The answer is that learning game dev isn't easy, but it's also not exactly difficult either. It's just a lot of very precise steps to go from idea to game because everything is so explicit. Not like nudity explicit, but like without room for misinterpretation by the computer explicit. But what do I mean by it's not easy, but it's also difficult? That's an oxymoron. Well, visual scripting has been surprisingly easy to learn, but not without challenges. Just like any other complicated skill, knowing what tools are available are an important part of getting the most basic tasks done, let alone AAA mechanics. But that's actually what I love so much about Unreal Engine's blueprint language. It's very intuitive. Like, if you wanna get the player's location, you literally just type in pet actor location. There are obviously lots of things that need to be taught or fiddled with to understand, especially when the toolkit Unreal Engine offers is as vast as it is, but there are tons of YouTube videos that explain specific parts of Unreal Engine as well as paid courses on sites like Udemy, which is where I've learned most of what I know about Blueprint. Programming game logic isn't all that's involved when it comes to making games though. There are tons of other things like sound design, animation, models, materials, environment design, level design, and so on. Unreal Engine makes most of those things pretty accessible, and I've found that there are essentially different departments that an individual would have to learn separately if they wanted to make a full game. For example, the material graph alone is like learning all of Blueprint in a different language. Multiply nodes connected to other multiply nodes connected to one minus nodes and pattern nodes connected to textures via lerp nodes that make up a material with UV adjustments and it gets really really confusing really fast especially if you have absolutely no experience with materials. But again these seemingly tremendous obstacles can be overcome with a little bit of patience, some classic google foo, and maybe even a Reddit post or two to get specific answers from people that are likely more experienced than you. That's the beautiful part of it all though, because we live in a time where learning is possible without having to go to college, saving ourselves from spending tens of thousands of dollars to get a direct path to the goals ahead. At the end of the day, nothing beats a curated step-by-step -step learning process handed down by professionals, but that type of learning is available for next to nothing on the internet but there's still an unanswered question. Why Unreal Engine instead of something simpler? The answer is I used to make art content and people in that niche used Blender to make super good thumbnails. Eventually to keep up, I also learned Blender for thumbnails. Then Unreal Engine 5 came out and creators experimented with it and as such, so did I. I've been in love with it ever since and have learned a ton, but what's so impressive to me is that Really? I've only scratched the surface, which is why I will be sharing the new and exciting things I learn in a fun and direct way, as well as helping me to solidify the knowledge I already have of the engine. I'll also have a beginner's guide to Unreal Engine coming out in the near future as well. So consider subscribing and, you know, maybe do a favor and hit the like button. Thank you so much for your time today, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.